Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's baseball time on the SEC ESPN Network as the Southeastern Louisiana Lions, who have won eight straight games, meet the 19th-ranked LSU Tigers from the SEC. Go to the righties and the lefties. He'll mix that breaking ball in as well. Keller hammers the 0-2 pitch into left field. That one skips between Doty and Thompson on the left side. He got a fat one on 0-2 and delivered. That comes inside and hits Jacob Burke. A cold third strike. Christian Garcia, who was hitting 421 with runners in scoring position. He'll begin to pull the ball a little bit more occasionally, but for the most part, you got to like the approach he has as a freshman. How many home runs do you think these teams will combine for tonight? Mm, I'm going to say four. That's what I was going to say four as well. Total. So, all right, we'll stay with four. This ball is driven deep to center field, but Delaney has some room as he nears the dirt. He's got it about 390 feet from the plate. Morgan tags up and slides into third. There's ball four. Dugas earns a walk, and that will bring on Mitchell. A knock to left field and an RBI single for Mitchell Sanford. He went the other way and drove it cleanly through. LSU is on the board first. Sanford at first. This is hit high. It's hit deep. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Hayden Travinsky with one swing produces three runs. Say goodbye to the ball. Say hello to a 4-0 lead for LSU. That's his second home run of the season. My goodness, Lynn. I think that went off the scoreboard. The big fella, 6'3", 225 pounds, hunting the first pitch fastball after the mound visit. And you talk about getting all of one, a three-run shot, a weaver. I mean, and he knew it drops the bat, admires it a little bit, a little skip. Watch his ball in off the scoreboard. Goodness. So a big crooked knock. The elementary school over at the church. There's a knock up the middle, a clean base hit. And Keller, in addition to his singing, has had a loud bat here. This ball isn't coming back. Way, way into the night. A two-run home run for Jacob Burke. And that is a rising lion liner. His third home run of the year. And just like that, Southeastern cuts the gap in half. And just like that, for the first time this year in a start, the opposing team has scored off of Helmers. Well, turn one around, Mr. Burke. You talk about getting all of it, just like Trovinsky did, Jacob Burke. Goes off the scoreboard as well to cut the lead in half. A two-run shot. His third home run, 19th RBI of the year. That is the first home run Helmers has allowed this year. And this may be the second one. Back, back, back. Goodbye, Preston Faulkner. A rising liner. Five billboards to the right of the foul pole. And a three-run rally here, the third home run of the season for Preston Faulkner, and that got into the bleachers in a hurry. Yeah, that was almost a line drive, and all this with two out, too. Fastball that Jacob Burke hits for a home run. That's a breaking ball. Kind of left. Watch where this ball is. Kind of middle in. A nice job right there. Recognition. You see him just kind of hold back and sink into his legs. And, boy, the barrel right on the baseball for a line drive. And now a four to three ball game. So you and I are. A two hopper scoops through on the right side. Doty goes the other way. That's the fourth consecutive game in which he's hit safely and the 11th straight. A looper to right. That's down for a base hit. Doty is on his way to third and he does not get there. He is thrown out. Cade Doty never hesitated around second base. And so they've added a couple to that total. And Travinsky draws a base on balls to extend the inning for Cade Beloso. Who's going to claim this one? It'll be the shortstop. He overran it. One run scores. Tigers are going everywhere on the base paths. And there is a tag out between second and 
third. However, the run does score two. And Zach Arnold is aboard. If you start playing Florida State and Central Florida and others, Miami count, two one count. A full swing and a drive deep into the night. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Cade Doty is swinging Excalibur right now. Eight home runs, most of them in the last week and a half, as Cade Doty continues to torture the baseball. Six home runs in his last six games. And he is just not missing. Plus count, fastball count, looking for that fastball. And boy, you talk about put a barrel on one out toward the Tabasco sign in left center field. And it was a no doubter, Lynn. LSU now up eight to three. The three two pitch. That's tight, and the inning is extended. That sharply hit, and it clears the infield on a couple of bounces. So Mitchell Sanford. He is two for three. Yeah, Mitchell sent. Yeah, I think he's getting close. Travinsky belts this on a line deep off the bottom of the wall. One Tiger scores. Two Tigers score. Travinsky turns it back toward second base and after running halfway to third, reverses and cleans the bases with a double and he's having himself a night. Well. We knew Dylan Cruz's ball came off the bat at 111. This one's not far from it. Almost a line drive straight away center field. Just melts it. When it got past the center fielder, Joe Delaney, no doubt two runs was going to score. You see Dugas come home. And there is Stanford. And watch the big fella. Whoa, big fella. Put the brakes on. Get on back to second. Be happy with that double and two RBIs. No weight movement to the right-handers. Well, that one didn't have any movement. It was intended to spin, but it never broke. Runner is going. What a play at third base by Doty. Throws it wide of the bag. A sensational grab by Morgan over there to save at least a base. Here's the 3-2 pitch to Southeastern's best hitter. And the bases are loaded. That's nubbed. Off the glove of a diving Morgan. One Lion scores, two Lions score. Runners at first and third. And here come the Southeastern Louisiana Lions again. Well, just no quit in them. Two run score on that. Runner over at first base goes first to third. That's Jacob Burke as he recognizes it. Just a ball cued off the end of the bat, but LSU's defensive positioning. You can see the second baseman, Arnold, was kind of right behind the second base back. Nobody's going to catch that one. Sia has struck out and bounced back to the box. Coming hard is the LSU left fielder. He leaves his feet to make a sliding catch. Gavin Dugas, I thought, was going to get there on his feet. He made a sliding effort with his feet pointed toward the infield and made the catch. British Columbia. A diving effort in center field, and Sanford can't get to it. He'll jump up and jump on the ball and get it back to the infield. But Nick Ray smashes that one, a sinking liner. The 3-2 pitch from Millis. Hit slowly to the left side. And nicely played by the third baseman, Cade Doty. The run scores. Burke. Doty plays it off his chest. He recovers and pulled Morgan off the bag. Trying to do it with this pitch and misses badly. Yeah, there's not a... He struck him out. He stayed on that outer edge. from Ty Floyd. Swing and a miss. He comes back and strikes out the side. De Giacomo retreating. And he's got it in deep center field. A 1-2-3 inning. Tiger pitchers retired the last eight batters, Ben, and this game is done. LSU gets it 10-7 over Southeastern.